So we've got a beer to review today. I'm going to start doing this. This will be the first one, commercial beers, that I'm going to be reviewing. And uh, I was doing a bit of beverage shopping, and this one sprung out at me. It's the B17. Now, sprung out for a couple of reasons. One, it's a can. I've never had a craft ale out of a can before. And two, the design. Showing off the label because the light's in it. But it's uh, it's a lovely label. It's got a got a, a bomber on it. Now, when I was looking at this and I was uh, online trying to get some gather some info on it, the cans don't look like this. So this is probably a new design. The old cans are called Bumblebee 17, and it's got bumblebees on it throwing hops. So this is actually from. Um, the Falkenberg Brewery, but it's it's labelled Backyard Brew. So basically, what they do is similar to the um, to the Stone Brewing. They let their uh, workers, let their brewers, uh, have free reign of like um, a test brewing area, which is at the back of the main brewery. Let them flex the muscles, let them uh, play around, and if they're up to scratch, and I'm guessing they start canning them. And bottling them and selling them. The other thing I like about it is it puts the brewer's name on it. So the the guy who works for them that did the old uh, did the old test brew. It puts their name on it. This is a pilsner. It's actually labelled as a hot struck pilsner. Thirty three IBUs. Uh, serve fridge cold. It actually says to serve it as cold to freezing the balls off it as possible. And it gives some food pairings on the side. So there you have it. There's the, uh, the B17. We're going to give it a pour. Now, the other thing that, uh, that didn't sit well, or the, the thing that started to niggle at me, was I was reading the can and it says, uh, Carlsberg Sverige. Carlsberg. So I did a bit of research. It turns out um, when Carlsberg moved into the market in Sweden, they um, bought up the two biggest breweries in Sweden, uh, merged them together. So it was the um, the Falkenberg Brewery and Prips. So let's hope that they've let the, the brewery still do the thing and not try to commercialise it too much. So let's crack into it. Not much of a of a hissle on there and the can was quite soft so we'll see what we get. I do love a pilsner so we'll see. It's producing a lovely head. It's lovely carbonation and uh, it's actually lighter than what you can see. It's like a, a pale straw colour to show you. It's, it's sort of yeah, like a pale straw colour, lovely meringue head. Uh, the carbonation is fierce on that, absolutely fierce. Let's see if we can get a see if we can get a bit of a torch torch action going off. Oh yeah, look at that. So it's fierce, man. Fierce. Oh, lovely, uh, lovely pilsner aroma to it. Yeah, you can pick some of the hops out in there, but it's like a. It's like you're getting that sort of. Almost like a cakey, like a sponge cake sort of aroma. Give it a give it a drink, see what it's like. Cheers, guys, for the first one. That ain't bad. Um, you're getting that sort of cakey, spongy taste at the back end. You are getting a, a tinny taste to it as well. You're getting the hops in there, but not massive hops. Um, 
hot struck pilsner. It's um, it's actually four point seven percent as well. I forgot to mention, but it ain't bad. It's 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 going to be perfect in the summer. Mm. Thin body, um, quite thin really. You are getting hints of that sort of mass produced lager taste in there. Um, there isn't a vast amount of hops in there, but it isn't bad. Bit of the malts, all in all, it could have a bit more of, of everything, really. Uh, but not bad, not bad at all. Mm. Bit of lace in there, and it's retaining the head. But it has got that sort of tinny, lagery taste to it. Um, but not bad, not bad at all. So there you go, guys. Go out and give it a try. If you were, uh, if you want to, one pound seventy odd for a can, man, three hundred and thirty mil. It's pretty dear uh, for such a little can, but um, there you go. So that's it, guys, for the first beer review. Mm. I'll get the lawnmower beer uh, to review, and if there's anything you want me to review. Um, leave a comment below and I'll see if I can find it and um, and we'll review it. Mm. Very good. I'll see you later guys.